Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about nine cards, but before we begin, I would like to say I wanted to start a new, kind of a new series where I actually speculate on cards and take you through how I'm buying them, how many I buy, how I determine what vendors to buy from, but my PayPal account was suspended because someone in China bought a lot of stuff online. I, I'm guessing lots of League of Legends skins and things of that nature. And the account has been suspended or will be suspended until the 20th. So I will, after the 20th, hopefully my account will come back and I will pretty much binge on buying. And I'm interested in a few different products. I'm interested in a few different cards. Rotation presents good opportunities. Um, I'm So the cards that I'm gonna talk about are good targets in my opinion. I don't expect Sarah Angel to ever be cheaper. This is a very interesting one at $2 and a $6 foil. Typically you don't see a foil multiplier of 100% on a card that is only $2. So that tells me that it's interesting. It's unique, it is memeable, and overall it's a for nine, you get a 11 nine that opponents can't cast spells with converted man with even converted mana, and opponents can't block with creatures with even converted mana cost. So, very intriguing card just because it's so unique. Do I think it's amazing and good? No, but I like it because it's unique, and I don't feel like if they were to print something like it, it would be the even lock. And as soon as they printed that card, this card will spike like no other. Because then people, even though it's such a bad combo, people would want to play it. The other cards I'm looking at very hard is Portal Free Kingdoms. Portal Free Kingdoms has had a bad, bad beating lately because they've been reprinted to pretty much oblivion. But as we've seen from the legends and the antiquities, as well as any of the cards on a reserve list, these cards are not on the reserve list. They can be printed in a supplemental product like Commander normally, Plane Chase, Arc Enemy. They can be reprinted in any of these. But I like them. I like the cheap ones. I feel like the cheap ones, like the 12 Zodiac Animals minus the Zodiac Dragon, which is like over $100 already, they are very interesting. I like the fact that they are collector's items. And when I'm going over these list of cards, a lot of the tendencies for me to want to buy something depends on actually my own childhood. Later this week, I will show you something I have purchased and it was very, it was a bad purchase. I probably overpaid for it, but I loved it. And you cannot put a price on love. So Nightmare, I have a copy of this and it is a good time to buy. As you can see, Nightmare was a $500 card at one time. Now the question is, do you want alpha, do you want beta, or does it not matter? I think you always take alpha. I, I'm i pretty sure the, the answer is you always take alpha. Now, interestingly enough, when Magic first came out, beta was more expensive than alpha, and people would trade, would have to trade their alpha cards plus something else for the beta cards because the, the corners are different. And people wanted, obviously, symmetric corners because OCD. And again, magic cards were not that expensive back then. They just weren't. So people actually valued the corners more. And some people would actually cut the alpha corners to match the beta corners. I'm not even kidding you. So Rainbow Veil is a beautiful piece of artwork. I am not at... Mm, $9 is a lot, but I'm not surprised to see at the new high price. The card is not good, but in EDH it's playable and the artwork is fantastic. What I have been seeing and what I personally feel now is I want to own cards that are just good looking. I've always wanted that to do that. Like the file layers, you know, I think file layer has one of the most beautiful artworks. The only second to Knight Exemplar, I'm pretty sure that's her name and that's in my opinion, the best artwork of all magic. Uh, Restoration Angel, I, I like both editions of Restoration Angel. I do prefer the non-promo one, though. 
And yeah, things are just becoming collector's items. Uh, all the legend cards are eventually going to spike. So if you have any of them, hold on to them. If you do not have any of them, do not. I, I mean, I don't know how else to say except somehow I've accumulated a lot of really bad legend cards that are now spiking in price. I don't really know what to do with them. I don't want to sell them because I don't know how to sell them. I just don't sell magic cards anymore. I only buy magic cards for my collection. And it's really a personal collection. It's to decorate the office, right? Rainbow Veil, vale, you don't need to be a magic player to appreciate the artwork in Rainbow Veil vale or Falia or the new Falia, which I'm collecting. You can put in the office, you can put a few hundred copies and people are like, oh, cool, you play magic. And that has, so the home office is more flexible because it's literally my home. And my employees, my secretary, my social media specialist, we have some other employees who work at the home office and they always are interested. You know, they have free reign. We have a very famous graphic design library at my home uh, from a My Domi. So if you live in Houston or Austin, you know what My Domi is. It used to be the best graphic design or a very famous graphic design. I guess they sold books, a bookstore. That's what they called, right? <laughs> I was like, hmm, what sells books nowadays? A bookstore, right? I have a lot of Saku and Bringer because I have a lot of Miraz. I just don't know where she is. I know that I put all my legends in one pile and I cannot find my legend pile. And that's kind of frustrating, but I did find a bunch of pirates, a bunch of Seeds of Innocence, and all of these other Miraz cards that have been spiking like crazy. But I have no idea where I put her. I'm pretty sure it was like one of those legends, like those. I'm pretty sure I have a whole box of 500 of just these random legends. Now, Ruby Medallion and the other medallions are always a very good price. Now, there is a historical interesting story about some of the medallions. I forget which one it was. I think it was Sapphire. But Charlie Brown, the Charlie Brown comic book series was printed... I guess near it and some of the medallions have an image from that comic book series in it and it's not that uncommon actually i i think it's 50 50 that you either have the image or you do not just an fyi it might be worth something to a collector someday right a charlie brown collector or something like that a peanuts collector that's what it's called peanuts i like collecting stuff and there, are, but when you want to collect something, you need to accumulate a a ton of it, and b it has to be pleasing for you to put in my office, uh, my office in downtown Houston or my office here. For, so my office here, I have more flexibility, so I can put in like a bell fire dragon. But my office downtown Houston, there's no way I'm going to put like a hundred copies of this. People be like, hmm, devil worship. Hmm, not going to go with this company. I'm going to go with the next company, and. So at home, I have more flexibility, but the Falias, the altered Falias, the artwork that I've been commissioning all this time, and it's just, I'm commissioning a Sylveon, which I have to text her that it's great, uh, the Sylveon. I forgot to text Brian that the Sylveon's really good. So let me text her now. Um, no, I did text her. Okay, so the Sylveon looks like a rabbit? Oh, it's like a, it's like a, a underwater Sylveon? But anyway, it's great. And that's why I appreciate, I appreciate unique pieces of artwork or artwork I can put into a display. Eventually I'll give you a tour of the home. The home is, it's actually a home now. That's good. I mean, there's furniture, there's couches. Uh, I don't believe in TV, so I don't have TV. I just watch Netflix and Hulu. I have everything else, Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hulu. And I can actually, what's it called? HBO Live. I was like, yeah, okay, what's that show I watch all the time? Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.